What is going on guys? We are back for another DSP video and we're going to look at how his streams of Street Fighter went after the Akuma patch. But first we have an update. So before we saw a couple weeks ago, he spent $2,000 on the WWE Champions event. Then it was $1,096. Then it was $1,196. Well now guys, we're up to $1,634 spent on this event. And keep in mind that $2,000 event was a separate event from this. So this happened on May 20th. And keep in mind, on May 21st, he got paid by YouTube. Funny how he drains his bank account for WWE Champions right before he gets paid. And then begs for more money. And DSP is in the right position, 4th place, down from the Raptors. So this is from the previous night, but I just want to show you the clown mode that was going on when tips were low. So this is from the night stream from Hellblade 2. We have Mirrored Entity. Jade be like, he like me. DSP is struggling to be entertaining. Oh, oh, excuse me. And remember guys, he's not like the other streamers with the exaggerated faces, the over top reactions. He doesn't fake his stuff. He's real. When you watch him, he's real. And he's not a children's entertainer. Now I know what you're wondering. What could he possibly do this to? to justify him doing that. So let's watch the scene from Hellblade 2 that made him act in clown mode. Oh. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Then the pre-stream was mostly him talking about Street Fighter, but we did get this here. So he changed the poll for the indie event because no one told him Lethal Company is a multiplayer co-op game. And you, yes you, did not listen to him. Then most of the pre-stream was him reading the patch notes. So we have this from Poem, who by the way has a new Twitter because a certain puppy started attacking him. DSP, read the patch notes. Therefore, he has more knowledge of the game than his opponents. DSP is reading the patch notes of Street Fighter 6 and already starting to preload feature excuses for himself. Get ready for him to blame drop moves on them changing the timing windows on circle motions. Then we're just going to jump in and we're going to put this all together because he did both streams as Street Fighter, so no need to break it up. So the first thing he did is he went into training mode. He wanted to know how to play as Akuma. And people kept saying, just jump in the rank matches, learn on the fly, it'll be fun that way, it'll be exciting to watch. And DSP said, no, go fuck yourself. And he told the chat to leave if you don't want to watch him training in Street Fighter 6 before he goes online. Then tips were low, and he said, please, again guys, please support the streams. You know what everyone wants? Everyone says, we demand new characters. Not the same five. We demand you play online and play ranked. I'm doing what people want. So where's the actual support then? Then later on he said, Thank you to those who have supported. It's two or three tippers and two super chats. It's like the way people talk and the way people make demands around here. You would think there'd be a million people here. Oh, I'm so happy he's playing Akuma in ranked and I'm actually up here high diamond and shit, but that's what I mean. It just doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter. It's all... It's all just nothing. It means nothing, right? It's all just pointless. It means absolutely nothing. Yeah, he lost his damn mind as you're gonna see in the later videos. And then of course, every time Street Fighter gets played, it's always the same excuse. Just like Fallout, just like War. Phil, Phil never changes. DSP is right back where he ended up all fighting games. Once he can't hide behind a million excuses about learning, this game is unplayable online. Welcome back, boys. And then he kept losing over and over. He's getting his ass beat by other people. And he now claims Street Fighter 6 is now actual pain and suffering. 
the king of suffering dudes. Then we have this summary of the knight. One of the worst Street Fighter 6 knights he's ever had. And remember, this is the launch of Akuma, the end of year one, if you will. It basically had it all. It basically had it all. Anger, pity, guilt trips, pleaded, arrogance, entitlement. If you want a good representation of the real Phil, tonight was it. So for me, I'm standing there getting caught. By the way, dude, shut the fuck up about sitting here talking about sports all night. Fucking idiot. That's obnoxious. I'm playing Street Fighter. The guy's been here for two hours talking about basketball. Is this fucking basket chat, you fucking moron? It's Street Fighter, you idiot. My stream, not yours, not your personal chat room. Get the fuck out of here. I personally myself would love to hear DSP talk about basket chat. Then guys, he moves the goal once again. Cause last year, during the hardcore gaming season, he said, I want to make $50 at least once a day. Then it became, I want to make $50 each stream. And now guys, he wants at the very least $50 each stream. Funny how it keeps getting raised. The most pathetic moment of the night was him sitting on $50 on the leaderboard and trying to act like he had no support just so he could soothe himself with something positive by trying to bait out a tip. This guy is absolutely addicted to using people. We got Theo. DSP asks for $50 every stream. That to him is a successful stream. DSP gets $50 in tips. DSP. Where's the support? You guys asked for Akuma. Ranked, where's the tips? Huh? We got ice at the bottom. The begging was at an all-time high all day yesterday. Then we have this from Meowblocked, who shows off one of the major bags from yesterday. Absolutely pathetic. Guys, please support the stream tonight. Tonight we got two super chats and one tip. That's literally the entire night right now. You guys were asking for so long for fighting games to return, for new characters, for ranked play, all right? I'm doing everything you guys want, as you can see. I'm suffering for it. Can't do anything, dude! I'm actually stressed out. My back is fucking killing me right now. My back, fuck this bitch. This fucking game pisses me off because it fucking doesn't work online. It's just so frustrating. Fuck this fucking game! So please support the stream. I think on Friday, I, I mean, as much as I, I'm doing well with Akuma, I think I might just play my other characters and see the balance changes. Everything hits now. This is too frustrating to try to fucking play this. Every button, on, I think, like, it's just like ultimate frustration and stress and annoyance and anger. It causes it anger. Fuck this piece of shit. For what? Why am I angry about this piece of shit? It's just a dumb fucking fighting game with an awful net code. And it's not my fucking fault. I don't need to worry about this. This is not a big deal. So I don't want to play anymore. Right? It's like, I just don't want to play anymore. And still, the money was not rolling in anymore. It was frozen. And he said, getting stressed out puts tension on my lower back. It compresses my discs. We have this from JG. DSP just got beat by a Lily player that capped the final match with a perfect. He's crying but would no longer want to play the game. If memory serves, Lily is supposed to be a low tier character, especially since he's using Akuma. That had to cut real deep. Then we have Womo's ass. But dude, the update was supposed to change it all so Phil can win. What happened? It can't possibly be that DSP sucks at Street Fighter. I refuse to believe it. Why am I getting hit? It even didn't combo. It hit me anyway. What the fuck? This is insane. Everything hits now. Every button that they press completely hits me. No matter what I do, if I try to block, counter, hit anything, everything just combos. Fuck this fucking game. Fuck this piece of shit. My controller's now disconnected. Look, controller disconnected because I slammed it. <laughs> okay. Then we have a quote from DSP during the night. Literally every person at this level sucks. All they do is same bullshit. They can't do anything. Fuck this fucking bullshit piece of fucking shit game. Now I'm angry. Because I shouldn't lose five in a fucking row after winning all my placement matches. This game is a laggy piece of fucking shit, so fuck this shit. Now they're all in trouble. Angry water chug. And then this is one of my new favorite excuses he keeps saying. People are not beating me. They're not wins. People are not beating me intelligently. That's right. You don't actually beat DSP unless you beat him intelligently. Man who's throwing an actual fit over Rankin, Down says he doesn't care about Street Fighter 6. 
And we have Roxas. He got everything he wanted except one doll. And now he gets upset over losing. Then it looks like whoever's buying the ViewBots is all tapped out. Jordan, OIC, looking your way. Wink, wink. We got Darcy. ViewBots have the night off. And we see 152 people watching DSP. And this is supposed to be the brand new, highly hyped Akuma patch, dude. It's supposed to bring in the day one views, dude. And then at this point, we got to, please give me money because my life is hard. Please, please, please. I have such a hard life in my gated community, my DoorDash every day, my thousands spent on WWE Champions. Don't you pity me? Please give me money. And apparently before the night stream, DSP was quote unquote practicing. So what he means by this is not physically playing the game in training mode. He's watching other people play it so he can memorize it and attempt to apply it to the game. Then yet again, he keeps punching the joystick. I'm just saying, you could have got that blood work for Jasper and still use that old fight stick. And he's worried too, because Street Fighter 6 is all over the week. He's playing it multiple times, so Jax Raxter, you better have your wallet open and ready. We have In and Otter Place. The schedule is basically becoming all Street Fighter 6 with the odd stream of another game. DSP describes this as variety and fun, and then shits on having to play BG3 again. Remember, the whole thing with Tekken is he got so angry that he quit fighting games and had to take a break. And also keep in mind, last year in June, when Street Fighter 6 dropped, that's all he played was Street Fighter 6, occasionally with another game mixed in, and he claimed because of that, people were f not watching the streams, we're not following anymore, and all his interest went down. I guess history repeats itself. We have Otter. Phil crapping on flowchart pattern players. Didn't DSB say the other day his pattern was interrupted? Also, if you're playing a pattern, why don't you learn how to counter them? Then we have this from Duty. Hey June the King, another shining moment in DSB history. Brain chat for yes, not supported. Guys, please support the stream tonight. Tonight we got two super chats and one tip. That's literally the entire night right now. You guys were asking for so long for fighting games to return, for new characters, for ranked play. All right, I'm doing everything you guys want. As you can see, I'm suffering for it. I'm actually stressed out. My back is fucking killing me right now. This fucking game pisses me off because it fucking doesn't work online. It's just so frustrating. So please support the stream. I think on Friday, I, I mean, as much as I, I'm doing well with Akuma, I think I might just play my other characters and see the balance changes. Because this is too frustrating to try to fucking play this. Like, it's just like ultimate frustration and stress and annoyance and anger. It causes an anger. For what? Why am I angry about this piece of shit? It's just a dumb fucking fighting game with an awful netcode. And it's not my fucking fault. I don't need to worry about this. This is not a big deal. And I'm sitting here freaking out about it because I'm fucking pissed because I should be doing better. I should be doing much better. All I need to do is have the game work. React when I input something. Block when I push backwards. It won't. It just won't. <laughs> it just won't fucking work. And I'm fucking tired of it. Just work. All right, everyone, I'm gonna get back into it for another hour. Please, again, guys, please support the stream. You know, everyone wants, everyone says, we demand that you play new characters, not the same five. We demand that you play online, you play ranked. I do everything people want, right? So where is the actual people to support that? Thank you to those who have, it's two or three tippers and two super chatters. It's like, you, for the way people talk and the way they make demands around here, you would think that there would be a million people here, oh, so happy. That I'm playing Akuma in ranked and I'm actually, you know, up here in fucking high diamonds and shit, but what I mean, it just doesn't matter. It's all it's all just nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> right? This is all just pointless. It means absolutely fucking nothing. You know what I need? I need it to be like the guy in Office Space. You ever seen the, the movie Office Space? Where the guy accidentally gets uh like uh hypnotized to just not care? That's yeah, poems. Full meltdown mode. He doesn't have a life that lets him get good at fighting games. The game sucks online, so he can't win. It's not him, it's the game. Support sucks even though you asked him to take fighting games seriously. No one did that. Playing the game is pain and suffering. 
And then we get into the even dumber excuses. DSP is now accusing people of using lag switches. And then this is the dumbest thing he ever said last night. DSP is complaining that too many people are playing as Akuma. You know, on release day of Akuma, the brand new character, Akuma. We have Roxas. Why is he surprised? New character added. Everyone will use him. Yeah, Barrett Wells. Even if DSP got Akuma a day before everyone else, he still wait that day to play him so he could watch someone else figure out how to play style first. And we have not a burner account. Wow, people are playing with a character that just came out and that they paid for? Then it happened again. He sharded for the second time. DSP Historical Society. Not sure what DSP fears more. Taking an L or being honest even once with his viewers. There's no way he didn't A hear and B feel a fart that reverberated in his big boy chair. Come on! He just keeps fucking driving packing and I can't counter drive his pack like I want. This should be off. Look at the damage off this one driving pack. Akuma. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You're saying I farted? If I did, I totally had no idea that I did. Maybe I did fart. I don't I didn't hear it though. It might not have been though, because I don't think OBS would have picked it up. If there was actually a fart, I don't think OBS would have picked up the sound. Not that it's a big deal about farting, I don't really care. I fart all the time. I told you guys, like, you guys just don't know. I totally do fart on stream all the time. And of course, the degenerates in chat had to run with it and wants more farts from Phil. We have Sweet Liberty, Fart, Big Papa Phil, who's Timbo, Sound like a trumpet or something. Then we have Turtle Sniffer 69 what a name, who does a bunch of emojis for Phil. Debo, that was an alpha fart though. Debo don't even fart with that level of conviction. We got the big fridge. The fart occurred at the most perfect silent moment. The only moment with no other noise to conceal it. Phil probably thought OBS would filter it out. We got banana hammock, hashtag acknowledge the fart. Yeah, and people were actually asking for a fart streak. Like the vest streak, but with farts. Absolutely disgusting. Then the end of the night came, and he said, I'm sorry for my frustration and outburst all night, but it's unavoidable. Yes, yes it is. Grow up. As you can see at the very bottom too, he got $4 in Super Chats, just saying. Then we have, that being said, one pick to sum up the night stream, and we got Phil, if anyone knows the memes, there's one word that comes to mind when you see this picture. SALT! Gout Gout. Daily rap was same BS as any DSP has said. Blamed everyone but himself for his frustration at Street Fighter tonight. Ended the video with a beg for support of Season 2. Then this is how the day went. Pre-stream, $10. I bet you're missing that 1 minute man money. With $10 coming from Big Papa Phil slash Timbo. Street Fighter 6 first stream, $41 with 28 coming from Ty Ak Ak. Street Fighter 6 second stream, $50 with $30 coming from Rapid Shots. You know that one that's always in the chat all the time. Definitely not a sock account. And $14 from Big Papa Phil slash Timbo. So he made $101 on the day. If you would have worked 8 hour minimum wage shift, he would have got $160. So today's difference was a loss of $59 versus a minimum wage job. So he's got more streams of Street Fighter 6. Can't wait to cover those. So if you guys like this, click that like. Share the video. Leave a comment below. Hit subscribe. Subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.